Hi again everybody. Today we're going to be reading a different book. This book is called The Tiger Who Came to Tea and it's by Judith Kerr. Let's get started. The Tiger Who Came to Tea, written and illustrated by Judith Kerr. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. But suddenly there was a ring on the door. Sophie's mum said, I wonder who it could be. It could not be the milkman, because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer, because he it because it is in his day to come. And it can't be Daddy, because he's got his keys. We'd better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door, and there was a big, stripy, furry tiger. The tiger said, <clears throat> Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea? Sophie's mummy said, Of course, come in. So the tiger came in the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, Would you like a sandwich? But, Sophie, but the tiger didn't take just one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Oh! But he was still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. And Sophie's mummy said, Would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all the supper that was cooking the saucepans and all the food in the fridge and all the packets of tins in the cupboard. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all of Daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. He must have been very thirsty. And then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper and the tiger's eaten everything. And Sophie found she couldn't have a bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and his mummy, Sophie and her mummy, told him what happened, what had happened, and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a calf. So they all went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on, and they walked down the road to the calf. They had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. Then in the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping, and they bought lots of things to eat. They also bought a big tin of tiger food, in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. Goodbye. Thanks for coming and reading with me, everybody. We'll see you next time to read another book. Bye.